Hello, this is Amin, and this is session nine of ASP.NET Core tutorial. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about uh, serving static files uh, outside of www root folder. If you remember in session eight, we uh, talk about a static file and we mentioned that uh, a static file should be located uh, inside www root folder. And uh, uh, in session eight, uh, we mentioned this uh, topic. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, session eight, you can watch it from here. In this session, we explain how you can serve a static files and how you can create the www root folder. And now we uh, try to serve a static files outside of www root folder. Let's continue. We can uh, serve static files uh, with uh, use a static file middleware and also use uh, server files. Uh, first, we try to uh, show you how you can uh, put your static files out of uh, www root folder. For this purpose, if you uh, use, uh, use static files middleware, you should create one static file option. And uh, inside of that static file option, you should uh, create one uh, file provider and uh, through path.combine uh, you can uh, get the, uh, the folder that you created for your uh, static file and with environment <coughs> with environment uh, uh, variables and content root folder and name of your folder inside your uh, uh, project root folder, you can get the path. And also then you send the request path to uh, static file options. Uh, request path, it's the path that uh, later you can uh, call it for uh, serving a static files and then uh, after that, you send this uh, static file option to your middleware. Let's flip to Visual Studio and uh, see the process uh, in, mid in Visual Studio. This is the project that I've been uh, working throughout this uh, tutorial. And uh, these are the codes that I have added uh, during previous session. Uh, let me first comment uh, the code related to use file server middleware and uncomment the code which is related to uh, use a static file middleware. For this purpose, I need add one, uh, another folder uh, to root of my project for uh, being container of a static file, I name it static files, and I will add one another folder inside this one with name of images, and let me add one image to this folder. I add image two to this folder. But first, before uh, modifying the code, let me check whether this file inside this static uh, files uh, will serve by ASP.NET Core or not. Let me run my project. And as you can see, this is the startup, uh, the startup folder, the startup uh, HTML that I uh, introduced the project uh, during previous session. And let me check whether inside a static files images, 
I have image two dot jpg and let me request for this file. I receive 404 error because this folder is not recognized by ASP.NET and my project uh, before uh, adding uh, uh, file uh, option, uh, static file option. Uh, I uh, need two uh, namespace to be added for this change. First one is using Microsoft dot extension dot file provider because I need the uh, file provide file provide providers during this session and also using system dot io because I need to uh, find a, a root path of this project. And I add one static file option. I will cut it a static file option. New static file option. And let me implement required code. I need one file provider, and which is physical file provider. It has two overloaded. I use the first one, which needs the root uh, path. And I will uh, get the root path with path, which is uh, inside of system.io uh, namespace. Combine, and I will use environment variable and content root path. Also, I need to send a name of folder that I have added. I will copy it here and paste it here. And then I add request path. Request path is the path that you will add in your browser to access this folder. In ca it can be uh, different with this folder name or it can be the same. I use uh, the same name. And uh, uh, in my next example, I will uh, change the name. And then I pass this static file to my middleware. Let me run my project. I receive one error, and because I forget to add a slash here, and now I uh, rerun my project. And project is uh, up and running, but I don't have access to www root because add another folder and it is overwritten to www root uh, uh, folder. Uh, let me, for example, try to access one image in www root and again I receive 404. But if I try to access static files, images, and image to that JPG, you can find it is uh, working. And now I use another uh, folder for my static file. Uh, if you want to use uh, both uh, a static file container, you should call app.use static file twice. And let me the code which is related to www root folder, move it after this one, which is related to default start of file. And now I have two static file, one for uh, this uh, static file container and another one for this one. Let me run my project again and try both 
container is available now or not. As you can see, my HTML.html file, which is uh, located uh, inside WW root is available now and I have access to images and images one and also I have access to static files images and image two. This is the code that you should add for uh, uh, for using uh, another folder to be container of your static file. Also, you can do uh, the same process uh, with uh, use file server. If you use a, a use file server for serving your static file as middleware, you can add this piece of code uh, to your project. Uh, instead of the previous uh, code that I have added. Let me back to Visual Studio. And for uh, saving time, I uh, copy this code and paste it in my project. Okay, let me now comment the code that uh, I have added. And uncomment the file server piece of code. And for uh, having both WW root and a static file, I will add uh, the code that I show you in presentation. It is exactly uh, same as the uh, code that I have added for a static file, but this is the same name. I will add one here and app dot use file server and add it file option one to the project. This time I uh, use uh, my static file instead of the exact folder name to show you you can uh, change the path shouldn't be the same as the uh, folder name. Let me run the project. Uh, WW root uh, file and folders uh, are available. And also, if I want to have access to static files, I should uh, go to the path my static files slash images slash image two. And uh, as you can see, it is working perfectly. Text version of this video is available in our website, which its link is uh, available in description of this video. And also uh, you have access to a uh, link of playlist of this video series and uh, or social network. Thank you for watching.